Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Morning Castaneda News. Apologies, I haven't been uploading the past couple of days. Long story short, I haven't been home, I've been very busy, but I'm back now though. That's out of the way, we can focus on the uploads once again. And I've got a big announcement today, so we've got that to get through. As well as that, we got, well, as I said in the title, Alexander Isak has picked up an injury, so we're going to have to talk about that. And as well as that, we've got plenty of news to get into, so... If you guys are new around the channel, make sure I get down there, hit that subscribe button. We are just about to hit 34,000 subscribers, so if you hit that today, that would be amazing. So thank you so much. And as well as that, if you also get down there, smash the like button. And finally, question of the day. With Isak's injury now to Newcastle, what would you do? Would you bring Callum Wilson back next game? Or would you keep Wilson out for at least one more match and put Wood in? What would you do? But anyway, though, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get my big announcement out of the way first. So this is huge for my YouTube channel. It's all down to you guys. Thank you so much. So essentially this year at the Football Content Awards, so pretty much what that is, is where all the best football channels in the UK go to potentially win awards. Now I've been selected as a finalist in two of those categories. So yeah, we've got actually a chance of winning something. So uh, it's been really good. Thank you so much. Now, if you can go down to my pinned comment and vote for me, if you enjoy watching my videos, it would mean the absolute world to me if you can go and do that. So thank you so much. Now, I don't want to try and bribe people, but listen, if we win any of the awards, I'll do an R giveaway in the channel. So listen, uh, there's an incentive for you. But yeah, uh, thank you so much. If you can go down there, the best Premier League content career, and I think it was the best football content career. So if you can vote for me in both of those, that'd be amazing. So thank you so much, guys. It means the world to me to have a chance to even win some awards this year, I think it's very good, so uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much, it does mean the world, but yeah, uh, that's about it for my big announcement, I'm, I'm being selected for potentially win some trophies on the channel, so listen, the castle and Sue, uh, it doesn't happen too much, does it, so let's hopefully get them. One final thing before we get into the news, apologies, it's just because I've been gone for a couple of days, now the Castle United women's team played down at Lincoln on Saturday, due to the fact it's international break the games on Saturday, which is, I mean, better for me, I'm going to be honest. So they had to play away to Lincoln. They actually play in Lincoln Stadium as well. So that's one of these stadiums that can get ticked off. Now, I just want to say I will be at the game. I'll get the vlog done as always. I've said it this season. Every single match that does not conflict with the first team, I will be at. So that's what I promise I'm going to keep by it. But yeah, that's it now. Apologies for that. Well, further ado, let's get into all the Newcastle news now. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Alexandra Isak, he's picked up an injury for Sweden. And he's going to miss the next two international games. Now... It doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to miss games for Newcastle, but it confirms him being out for the international break, which is, of course, terrible. The impression I get with Fulham being, well, about one week away, the impression I get is that he's probably going to miss the game. And therefore, who do we play against Fulham? And Fulham away is also a very hard game at the minute. They're in very good form. And Mikovic is on probably the best form of his career in the Premier League, so we are in for a hard time without a... A designated striker. We've got Callum Wilson and Wood. Who can play? Who's injured? What's going on with those two? So we get Callum Wilson out of the way. So as far as I'm aware, he is actually fine. It was just a case of slowly bringing him back in due to the fact we've got Isak now. We don't have to rush Wilson back in, which makes sense because we know he picks up long-term injuries and he picks them up a lot as well. So the rushing back in can damage him quite a bit, which is why I also think that Alan St. Max when he was not put in for the Bournemouth game. I believe Sir Maxon is fine for the Fulham game. We get him out of the way first. There is my man there. I believe he is fine for the Fulham game. He's been training at home. He's been getting all sorts sorted. I believe he can make the match. That, that's all I can say, really. And uh, as for Callum Wilson now, he's a tougher one because I remember when I saw him at the Wolves game uh, about three, four weeks ago or something, I asked him how he was. His scans were fine. He's fine. He's physically fine. It was just a case he has to slowly work him back in. And whether the club does that or not is another question. I can't answer that question for you. I believe he would be potentially fine if the club is desperate and puts him in for Fulham. I think he could play. But it might be the case that the club rests him for one more match and gives Chris Wood the job up top. And with all due respect to Chris Wood, it's going to be a hard afternoon for him. So, yeah, uh, not great for Newcastle. I mean, what are the chances we sign a £60 million striker and within the first month he gets injured? It's just, it's just typical BS at Newcastle, to be honest. So... Uh, yeah, I hope this like, gets well soon. I think Wilson is fine, but it's whether the club rushes him in or not. So, I, I, I don't want to answer that question at the minute. But yeah, uh, that's the update in those lot. And speaking of the international break, let's talk about a couple of other players as well. So, Ryan Fraser for Scotland yesterday got two assists off the bench for them. 
I didn't like Ryan Fraser against Bournemouth, to be honest. I thought he had a really bad game. He's someone that I don't mind so much, but I do think needs to start scoring or start getting assists. Him, I'm one, Murphy, they're not getting goal contributions, and I think that's a key issue for Newcastle at the minute. I think we've had a good start this season, but we're not scoring the goals we need, and that's why we aren't winning games. We just not we're not scoring enough. We're not. It's just frustrating to watch. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, I think that needs to change soon. Otherwise, we're gonna have quite a sort of bumpy, turbulent start of the season. But yeah, I think we're being good. We just need to score goals. And as for Sven Botman, we we'll talked about him as well because he's actually refused to go to the Netherlands under 21s. He said he wants to. Stay in Newcastle and work his way back into the squad. Now, that's a huge statement up by a player that actually rejected an international break and try and get better in Newcastle. So, from the impression I get, the player honestly thinks that he wasn't good enough to play against Bournemouth, so he wants to work himself back in, which is crazy to say. And I also like it from Eddie Howe because, well, players have got to work their way into the team. That's why Botman's actually stayed because he's going to work harder for Newcastle to get into that team. And it's a really good mindset how at the club even though I mean I, I do want to see him play with his national team I don't want to see him uh, sort of pick Newcastle over it but yeah uh, I think he deserves credit for that so well done Botman and uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to start against Fulham for that one very interesting announcement now so Manchester United take on Newcastle on a Sunday 2 o'clock kickoff but two days before that it's been announced in UFC matters that the United Legends will take on the Manchester United Legends. So, I think it's going to be feeling quite a lot about the 96 game. So, yeah, uh, essentially two days before we actually play Manchester United away, you can watch the Legends play against each other. And, I mean, who doesn't want to watch the Castle Legends play? There's so many iconic ones. So, I've got no idea who's going to be there, but there you are. It's on the screen there. The postcode's on the screen you got to contact someone directly about it, I believe. So, obviously, looking at yourself, you want to go. But there you are. Uh, Newcastle State Legends will be playing. I'll be there myself. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to also seeing what legends are going to be there. So, yeah, exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, Newcastle State versus Manchester State themed weekend for the two games on. So, yeah, uh, there you are. There's an announcement there for you guys that are interested. A huge congratulations to one of our own, Eddie Anderson. Yesterday, it's been announced that he signed a contract extension at Newcastle United. The club sees him as a long-term projected player. He's somebody that will get better at the club. And Dan Ashraf and Eddie Howe both like him a lot. So he signed an extension that he will be here for the long term. Now, I just want to say, I think the main part of this is Joey Barton and Bristol Rovers last season. I think those two have almost saved his career at Newcastle I think... That move to Bristol always had that long move. I think it's completely changed him as a player and it's made him a lot better. I remember watching quite a lot for the under 23s last season before he went out on loan. He was definitely the best player, don't get me wrong, but I always felt like he was just, he was never going to cut the first team, to be honest. But that move at Bristol was completely changed him. He came back and he was just 10 times the player. So, yeah, I think that move for him was huge and now he's in for the long term. He is a first team player. He'll be on the bench. Over time, he continues to play well. You imagine he'll get started at some point, but it's a slow burner with him. He's still 19. I mean, this kid is, what, two years younger than me, damn. Not jealous at all. Not jealous of that one at all. But, yeah, seriously, no worries. And Eddie Anderson, he deserves it. And, uh, yeah, there it is. He's got the long term he wants now. Let's make sure he can kick on and become a better player than he already is. So, anyway, guys, we're going to finish off with the video today. Chances are, because I've been gone for the last couple of days, I have missed quite a few things out. So if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about, stick it down in the comment section. I get back is tomorrow. I think I do another news video then. If not, it'll be Sunday or something like that. So yeah, I'll be back soon. The normal uploads have returned. Now again, apologies for that. And as I said, the intro for the Football Content Awards, it makes sure I get down there and vote me. Um, it's, it's getting nervy, it's getting nervy. And I believe I swear you can actually vlog at the event. So obviously I get a vlog of all these all the best YouTubers essentially in the UK, so that'll be quite a big one for you. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know your thoughts down below on all the new cast and news. Obviously, the Isak injury is the big one today. Didn't want to see that one happen, especially at the time of this one as well. So, nightmare. It's just how it is. I, I don't know how he's got injured a month after joining cast. It was just typical. I swear he played the full season last year for your soccer. I mean, how... How are we getting so many injuries? It's ridiculous. But yeah, um, I think once we get a better training ground, I think we get the better facilities in it. It's going to help us a bit more, but I'm not, I'm not just blaming it on that. But yeah, uh, that's about it really. A bit of a frustrating day, but it's, it's how the cookie crumbles. We've still got to be ready for Fulham next week. And yeah, it's just how it is. 
Thank you guys for watching, though, and I'll see you all in the next one.